हेलो एवरी ओन वेलकाम टू माई क्लस आई होप यू आर क्वैट वेल बै द ग्रेट मार्सि अफ अल माइटी आल्ला आई हेव अलरेडी फिनीसड थ्री लेसन अफ गेम्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स यू नो टूडे इज द लास्ट एंड भेरि इम्पर्टेंट लेसन फर यू सो फलो द क्लस भेरि एटेन्टिवलि So our uh, today's class is unit from unit uh, seven lesson four and five. This lesson is about uh, sports personalities. Look at the pictures. Can you see some uh, sports personalities? Do you know what are these people famous for? Can you name them? Okay, uh, I am saying, and you match your ideas with me. Number one is Pele. टू ब्रायन चार्ल्स लारा थ्री निशाद मजुमदार फोर सचिन तेंडुलकर फाइव सेरेना जेमेका उलियम्स सिक्स सलाउद्दीन सेभेन सकिब अल हसान एट दियागो आर्मेन्डो मेराडोना नाउ लुक दैट There are some adjectives in the box. Stout means courageous, smashing, enjoyable, manly, bold. That is physical features of a man. Entertaining, amusing, or cheerful, and I think uh, others, uh, other adjectives are uh, known to you. Uh, that is strong, young, middle-aged, old. Uh, these are also, um, I think, very easy adjectives for you. Now. Uh, let's use the adjectives to describe the sports personalities number 1 pele pele is from brazil he is a great footballer he is mainly famous and successful because he is a part of three world cup winning squads brian charles lara is from the west indies he is one of the cricketers he Uh, wh- one of the famous cricketers uh, he was a left handed batsman three nishad mojumdar is a stout and energetic woman she is the first bangladeshi woman who climbed up the top of mount everest uh, four sachin tendulkar is from india he is smart and smashing cricketer he is a smart and smashing cricketer but he is short Uh, he is the only person who has scored 100 century in the cricket world five serena jamaica williams is widely known as serena williams she is young and an entertaining tennis players in america and in the world number 6 salauddin is the middle-aged bangladeshi great footballer who played in professional league in hong kong number 7 sakib al hasan is a bangladeshi great cricketer he is slim and smart he was the captain of bangladesh cricket team diego armando maradona is a great footballer of argentina he is short sized but strong In 1986 he captained Argentina and won the World Cup. Now read the text on the great Brazilian footballer Pele. 
Pele is widely regarded as one of the greatest football players of all time. In 1990, he was voted football players, uh, player of the century by IFFHS. IFFHS stands for International Federation of Football History and Statistics. In 1999, the International Olympic Committee IOC named Pele the athlete of the century. In his career, he scored more than 1200 goals. Thus, he has become the top scorer of all time. In his own country, Brazil, Pele is a national hero. People call him the king of football, the king Pele, or simply the king. He is the all-time leading scorer of the Brazilian national team. He is the only footballer to be a part of three World Cup winning squads and the only player in the world to have three World Cup winning medals. Uh, we have got uh, the word squad. Uh, from this text, this new word squad uh, means a small group of people having a particular task. Now look at the uh, statements. These are true or false. And you have to answer whether the statements, uh, statements are true or false. If false, give the correct information. In 1999, Pele was voted football player of the century by o, uh, IOC. It is false and correct information will be in 1999, Pele was voted Football Players of the Century IFFHS. Number 2. In the same year, Pele was honored as the Athlete of the Century. Uh, this statement is true. Number 3. He is one of the top scorers in the football world with more than 1000 goals. It is false and the correct, correct information will be he is one of the top scorers in the football world with more than 1200 goals. Uh, goals. Number four, Pele is an international hero in his country. Uh, it is false and correct information will be Pele is a national hero in his country. Uh, do you know that in, in one's own country it is called a national and uh, out of his country uh, it is called international which is all over the country, uh, it is called international. Uh, he is uh, one of the football players with three World Cup winning medals. Uh, it is false and correct information will be he is the only footballer to have three World Cup winning medals. Uh, now you are going to enjoy a video, uh, a match of Pele. Pelé, real name Edson Arantes do Nascimento, is widely regarded as one of the greatest ever exponents of the sport he helped become known as the beautiful game. He holds the prestigious record of being a FIFA World Cup winner on no less than three occasions, scoring 12 goals in 14 games at the finals. Born in the poor district of Tres Corazaos, Minas Gerais, Brazil, on the 23rd of October in 1940, he remains the most famous footballer in history, and it is his achievements in the FIFA World Cup that have chiefly garnered that accolade. His entrance onto the world stage occurred during the 1958 finals in Sweden. At the tender age of just 17, he was the star of the tournament, scoring six goals, including three in the semi-final and two in the final. 
the semi-final against from Brazil to the final, where they faced the host Sweden. Stockholm 2-1, Pelé scored a wonder goal. He produced a magical piece of skill before providing the finishing touch. Without held aloft on the short interval part in his country's campaign. Despite his obvious disappointment at not making the final in Santiago, Pelé cheered on his beloved Brazil from the stands. They didn't let him down, and despite going a goal behind, they went on to beat Czechoslovakia 3-1. Pelé was rewarded for his early contributions in the tournament with his second successive FIFA World Cup winner's medal. And unsavory tackling from opposing players. He was heavily fouled in Brazil's third group match against Portugal, and was eventually... He had a change of heart, and at the 1970 finals in Mexico, enjoyed his finest hour. Pelé, of Pelé in 1970, were probably his near misses. A shot from the halfway line against Czechoslovakia that just missed the post, and his dummy around the Uruguayan goalkeeper remain two of the FIFA World Cup's most seminal moments. Scored Brazil's 100th FIFA World Cup goal with a trademark header, jumping on the shoulders of Jazim was memorable. Pelé was involved in two of the nine passes that preceded Carlos Alberto's goal. In fact, it was he who nonchalantly played the simple square pass, the same one which had killed off Uruguay and England for Carlos Alberto to score. Brazil had delighted the fans with their free-flowing football en route to a 4-1 victory. Brazil won the right to keep the Jules Rimet trophy after winning it for the third time, and Pelé's FIFA World Cup career ended on a high. In the cauldron of the biggest football show on earth, the FIFA World Cup, the great are separated from the good. On the 11th of December 2000, Pelé was named Player of the Century by FIFA's Grand Jury for his contribution to the game, and he remains a living legend. Dear students, I think you have enjoyed this video very much. Now, <coughs> go to our text again and let's, enjoy, uh, let's introduce with some uh, new words. Dribble. Dribble means take forward past opponents with slight touches of the feet or the stick or by continuous bouncing in case of uh, chiefly in case of uh, in uh, in football hockey and basketball uh, it is uh, take the ball and uh, in stick the stick in, in basketball in case of basketball um, legend Legend means an extremely famous or a notorious person, especially in a particular field. And living legend means the legend who is alive. Now uh, go to section 5 and uh, read about Maradona, another world famous player. While reading, you have to complete the text with the right form of the verbs given in the box. You may use a word more than once. Here is the uh, answer uh, below the text uh, for you. Uh, now match this word with with the fill in the fill in the back blanks. Uh, Diego Armando Maradona was born in a poor, poor family and spent his childhood in a slum. However, he uh, proved his football talent at the age of 10 only. Now, he is considered the greatest football player of all time. He was uh, voted the FIFA player of the century too. Uh, too. He he played in four FIFA World Cup tournaments in 1982, 1986, 1990 and 1994. In 1986, uh, he captained 
Argentina and um, won the World Cup. He became the tournament's best player in 1986 and won the Golden Ball. His second goal uh, with uh, England in 1986 was uh, proved the goal, goal of the century. In that match, he dribbled uh, through six English players to cross 60 meters. He also He also won the golden ball at the, at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 1979. In 1990, Argentina became the runner-up in the World Cup under his captaincy too. Uh, he, this is why Maradona is a living legend not only in Argentina but also in the whole world. Now again, let's say a video of uh, on Maradona. Often compared to Pelé, Diego Armando Maradona is Argentina's most celebrated footballer and a great player in his own right. He was a truly outstanding talent and the ability he possessed was beyond compare. Born on the 30th of October 1960 in Villa Fiorito, Argentina, Maradona's glittering FIFA World Cup career spanned 12 years and included 8 goals in 21 games. He was supremely gifted and often mesmerized opponents with his quick feet and stunning turn of pace. The 1982 finals in Spain, where he made his FIFA World Cup debut, did not see enough of these qualities. Argentina lost their opening group match to Belgium before beating Hungary and El Salvador. Frustration got the better of him and he was sent off for violent play. At the age of 21, Maradona's tournament ended in disappointing fashion as the holders crashed out. Argentina. By now, the 25-year-old Maradona was captain of his country and desperate to succeed. He led Argentina to the top of their first round group. He gave Argentina the lead in the 51st minute by scoring with what he famously called the hand of God. Maradona scored what is widely regarded as the greatest FIFA World Cup goal ever. He glided past several English players before rounding goalkeeper Peter Shilton and scoring. Argentina won the match 2-1. And in the last four, Maradona was instrumental in guiding Carlos quickly flicking the ball over Jean-Marie Pfaff into the back of the net. In the final against West Germany, Argentina surrendered a 2-0 lead, but Maradona was not to be denied. With minutes remaining and the game level at 2-2, he threaded a delightful ball through to Burachaga, who raced clear of the German defence and scored. Maradona was nearing the end of a successful seven-year spell with Napoli. Though his physical powers had diminished due to a serious ankle injury, the skipper's will to win remained as strong as ever. In the decider, West Germany denied Maradona the time and space to create opportunities, and in doing so, nullified his... Th West Germany won the match, and Maradona was left to reflect on an agonizing defeat. Also the darkest. Despite scoring a wonderful goal against Greece during a comprehensive 4-0 win, Maradona's 1994 FIFA World Cup ended on a sour note when he was sent home from the USA after testing positive for the banned substance ephedrine.
Regardless, Diego Maradona is one of the greatest players to have graced the FIFA World Cup. Albeit controversial, his finals career included a number of spectacular moments and he remains one of the finest and most enigmatic players to have graced the world stage. Dear students, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this video, you have enjoyed this video uh, very much too. Uh, you, all, you can also uh, search many other videos from uh, Google and you can get more information about these players. Now go to the text again and let's introduce with some new words. 70s. Uh, this word's pronunciation will be 70s. 70s means the decade from 1970 to 1979. 80s. 80s uh, means the decade from 1980 to 1989. Uh, so you see that decade. Decade means a period of 10 years. Consecutive means recurrent or successive that is following continuously I look at the example a sentence i passed two consecutive months of ill of serious illness illness you can add uh, this year this year you may use here this year now go to lesson 5 our golden boys and girls do you uh, know this person he is a sportsman uh, and he is uh, our local football hero Salauddin. Now read about uh, this hero and complete the text using appropriate words. While reading you have to use some suitable words to fill up the blanks. Salauddin was the most popular football player in our country during the 70s and the mid 80s. He was one of the most successful and uh, popular football players in Bangladesh. He was a member of the Sui, uh, Shadhin Bangla football team during the Liberation War. The team raised funds to support our freedom fight. Salauddin is the first player from the country to play in the professional league in Hong Kong. After independence, he joined uh, Abohani Krira Chokro and passed there uh, most of his career. For eight years, he regularly played for his club. He was the highest scorer for uh, four consecutive seasons. Uh, in eight, 1984, at the peak of his form, Salauddin had to retire uh, from football. He also scored two goals in the last league match against Brothers Union. Uh, he was the best player in that match too. Later Salauddin became a football coach and, man and manager of his favorite team Abohani Krira Chokro. Salauddin's name as a football organizer is also remarkable. Uh, Salauddin is an icon to our football lovers of all ages. Now, uh, watch a video on Salauddin. There is uh, not, I uh, actually I have not found uh, many videos, uh, available videos uh, of Salauddin's of uh, some match of Salauddin uh, but here is an interview 
of this video. দর্শক শুভেচ্ছা সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি চলতে চলতে অনুষ্ঠানে আপনাদের সঙ্গে আছি আমি আহমেদ রাকিব আর আজকে আমাদের সঙ্গে অতিথি বাংলাদেশের কিংবদন্তি ফুটবলার যিনি প্রায় গেল আট বছর ধরে বাংলাদেশের ফুটবলের ফেডারেশনকে নেতৃত্ব দিচ্ছেন কাজী সালাউদ্দিন সালাউদ্দিন ভাই স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি সালাউদ্দিন ভাই আট বছর ধরে বাংলাদেশের ফুটবলকে নেতৃত্ব দিচ্ছেন নিজে একবার মাঠে ফুটবল খেলেছেন দুটোর পার্থক্য কি মনে হয়েছে মাঠের ফুটবল বেশি কষ্ট নাকি ফেডারেশন মাঠের ফুটবল যেটা আমি যখন ফুটবল নেই তখন বাংলাদেশের ফুটবল বলতে পারেন মারাই ছিল বিকজ আজকে যে আপনার স্পোর্টস মন্ত্রী আরিফ খান জয় সে নিজে মিছিল করেছে ফেডারেশনের বাইরের লোনে যে খেলা চালু করো না হলে খেলা না হলে আমাদের ইয়ারলি ইনকাম নাই আমাদের সংসার চলাতে পারি না সো আমি এই পরিস্থিতিতে ফুটবল ফেডারেশন দিই নেওয়ার পরে আমার প্রথম যেটা চ্যালেঞ্জ চ্যালেঞ্জ ছিল এবং সবাইকে বলেছিলাম যে আমি ফুটবল মাঠে রাখবো আমি নামার পরে নেক্সট সাত বছর এমন কোনো বছর নাই যেখানে লিগ ফুটবল হয়নি ফুটমেন্টে কোনো ডেভেলপমেন্ট হয় না তেরো বছর ন্যাশনাল টিমের ক্যারিয়ারে এতগুলো খেলার খেলেনি ন্যাশনাল টিম তাদেরকে বলা হয়েছে তোমার ন্যাশনাল টিমে খেলতে হবে না যে হ্যাঁ ডেভেলপমেন্ট নাই ডেভেলপমেন্ট হচ্ছে না আমার একটা প্রশ্ন করা হলো এটা তো ফিফার একটা গাইডলাইন ছিল একই সঙ্গে জেলা ক্রীড়া সংস্থা থেকে ফুটবল অ্যাসোসিয়েশনকে আলাদা করার একটা পরামর্শ টাকা দিব না আপনাকে তাহলে আপনাকে আমি মাসে ছিলেন সেইটা মানে ইনসাইড দ্য ফেডারেশন বা আউটসাইড দ্য ফেডারেশন কতটুকু পেয়েছেন বা আপনার অপূর্ণতার পেছনে তাদের একটা বড় ভূমিকা ছিল বসিবে দশ দিন আগে তারাটাই আমার কাছে খুব ইনসাল্টিং মনে হয় Okay, my dear student, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video, videos very much. Um, you can also search more videos from uh, Google and uh, know more about uh, Salahuddin, our national hero. Uh, you can also uh, know may, uh, some other sportsmen. Uh, by searching google you can search actually uh, everything related to your study from internet uh, it is essential uh, for you nowadays you can learn english uh, spoken uh, by searching uh, different classes and from youtube it will be helpful for you nowadays okay and uh, now it's time to your homework it is uh, write a letter or email to your friend to tell about our golden boy Sakib Al Hasan use the following course you can add more few more information as well there are uh, some uh, informations of Sakib Al Hasan in this box uh, and uh, for this writing you can add uh, uh, this this information and you have to add more information about Sakib Al Hasan
so your uh, homework is uh, to write an email to your friend email or letter to your friend uh, about your favorite player or sportsman about your favorite sportsman uh, it may not be about Sakib Al Hassan uh, you, you can also write uh, others write about others other sportsmen who is your favorite actually and now I am going to end the class make the uh, best use of uh, your time and have a good family time see you in the next class thank you very much